this video we're going to be going over really one of Henry's huge money plays that built the best offense in Madden 24. Now, this is out of the Colts playbook. Colts has obviously been one of the better playbooks in the game all year long. We have a full ebook on it on our Patreon if you want to learn how we like to teach it. But this specific play that Henry came to the Madden Bowl Finals with was an absolute beam. We haven't really seen this route combination um, all year, the way that Henry was doing it. And it really, in, in this situation here, if we just want to go over this real quick. So in this situation, this is second down and 10, um, and the ball is on about the 39-yard line. Now, the really important factor here is actually the clock. Um, there's four minutes and 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter, okay? So because there's a, there's only like, if, if hit, like basically Henry needs to score before it gets under four minutes. And the reason why is because if he doesn't, Matt Wesley will be able to really easily clock him out of the game. But simultaneously, Henry needs to get seven. And so this whole drive, he's done a really good job of attacking the sideline, getting out of bounds, getting good getting good um, bang for his buck in terms of his route combos. And it was really the most important drive of the game, in my opinion. Now, right here, what we're going to see is this absolute laser that he cooks up. He has... Um, he's going to have a drag from this tight end, but he has the, he came to the Madden, uh, the Madden bowl finals with this combo. And I think this is at a curl flat and he actually hot routes the C route on the, on the right hand side. But basically this is a great little two man combo. It's a short side combo and we really hadn't seen it up until this point in the year, but Henry is going to use it a lot in this game. He went to it, I think three or four times and every single time there was something open. So what you'll see here on this is we have this uh, wheel route to clear out the outside third. We have the tight end drag, which is going to hold the user in the middle of the field. And then ultimately uh, the pressure, Henry's able, this is a really hard throw because you have to blue pass this, in my opinion, and he's having to do this under pressure. But as you can see, you have the corner on the left and you have the C route on the right. And it's really a full field read. But if you can make this read, this is one of the most effective plays in the entire game. For getting uh, for getting sideline dots, so I want to break this down actually in practice mode as well, and just kind of go over this. So I'm going to go over two real methods. One of them is out of Z spot and go, but I think the main one he was doing this out of was curl flap due to the the more depth you have uh, from that specific corner route. And then defensively here, uh, just for the sake of the video, we're going to go over just kind of some of the basic zone shells. I'm not going to send pressure because we know in practice mode it's, it's the pressure is absolutely crazy. Now, Henry was running this with his bunch to the short side of the field. The reason, the purpose behind that was twofold. Number one, we could put this, uh, we could put this C route on the left because we have Hot Route Master, and we could put this running back wheel here. And the primary purpose of this running back wheel is it works best when it's to the wide side of the field to pull any kind of outside zone. And then basically this was the setup. So we have a double corner on the right, and then we basically have a in a, in a roundabout way. We have a streak, a corner, and a flat on the left. So in terms of Henry's progression, the first thing he's probably looking at here is potentially the snap throw wheel. But I would venture to say he's probably looking to the right side. If he gets cover four or cover three, he's going to throw the ball right there, as you see. And with set feet lead, it really makes that throw. I, I'm really surprised not more people were running this concept. It's actually incredible because of how it attacks uh, cover four and cover three. Now, if he was, let's say Wesley was to put a cloud flat on the right-hand side, obviously um, there's going to be other things that are going to be open as a result of that. But what you'll see here is this deeper corner route. You can still kind of fit this in right on the corner, right on the sideline. So what Wesley ended up having to do to the right side of the screen was he had to run uh, basically a cover two type of look. So you'll see here, he's going to go to this cover two look on the right side of the screen. Now, the cover two, because that cloud flat is a little bit more outside, even though that cover two is really not a great play call in general, you could potentially throw this over the top here. But as you see, it's a little bit of more muddy of a read. And with all the KOs in the Ultimate Team, Henry ended up deciding that he wanted to work the, the right side of the screen. Okay, so Henry sees cover two over here to the right. So he decides, I want to work the left side of the screen. Now the user is in the middle of the field. Obviously, he's also sending pressure as well with this. But for, for right now, we just want to look at the coverage. So the user is in the middle of the field. So the user automatically has to make a decision. And this is what's hard about this play. Because we're attacking both sidelines, it's really hard for the user to cover either sideline instantly. There's a lot of ground he would have to get to. He would basically have to really run at the C route to guard it. So he stays in the middle of the field, which tells Henry, 
I'm going to throw this C route right on the sideline, get out of bounds, and that is what makes this such a good combo. That, especially against a baseline press dollar defense, it doesn't really matter. So, like, I'll go to cover three buzz. Cover three buzz is, is going to play a little bit worse than cover four on this type of route combination because the third is going to pinch inward. So, you see here, the third pinches inward. This is going to be open to the sideline, and you might want to wait on it just a little bit more, but you're really trying to throw that and catch it right out of bounds because in the Madden 24, another little pro tip with this combo is let's say, for example, that you do get KO'd out there. Because you can, uh, because the way this game works right now is if you catch it on the sideline, you can actually, and it, it's a tight throw, but if you can catch this on the sideline as you're going out of bounds, it significantly reduces the uh, KO percentage chance. And a lot of times they'll actually end up still catching the ball. So you see here, right out of bounds, and I'm trying to just bend it. I'm probably bending it just a little bit too much, but. Uh, anyway, this is a, definitely a freeform dot. Henry actually, what's really cool about him and, and one of the things I thought was really impressive is he literally taught or uh, basically mastered freeform passing uh, before this final. Uh, up until this point, people have not realized how big of a deal freeform is in the big picture of their offense. It is a big deal. Um, and Henry just worked and worked and got a ton of repetitions with really good freeform players and was able to really master that throw. As you can see, it's a really hard throw to make. Uh, but if you can make that throw, it really does open up your offense. Now, let's talk about, let's say, uh, for example, let's say Wesley decided, okay, well, I'm going to run cover two on that left hand side unlike on the right we have a clear out wheel route so that deep half is irrelevant so all we have to do is get over the cloud so you see here easily gets over the cloud and then we're, we're, again we're going to throw it kind of right in that little window i'm not super super great with Mahomes here but you can hopefully see like the concept and why this play is so good because this play gives you two options you can work the right side if you don't like the left side zones or you can work the left side if you don't like the right side zones, which is exactly what he did. Mahomes can't make this throw, but I promise you, if you're using Doug Williams and Mutt, you, you want to be using traditional for release, and he'll make this throw a lot better. Uh, Mahomes just kind of sells in, in Brax mode, to be honest, but there you go. We made the throw finally. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook uh, that I did this year, and we've updated several times, probably will continue to update it throughout the year. Um, that's in the Patreon. You get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon. One last little thing I did want to point out about this play that we you might be sleeping on here. What's the purpose of this drag? Let's say that Wesley decides he's going to go with a curl flat zone on the right. The curl flat will actually match the running back, and then you'll be able to throw this right here and again the plan is we got to get up and out of bounds so really really good route comb combination there from henry i thought this was one of his best plays of the game and really one of the plays we could learn the most from thanks for watching to get better at madden join the patreon link is in the description 10 bucks and i guarantee you it's going to make you a better madden player